is Randy with TheRainbowJuice.com and today I'll be showing you how to make kimchi. So first of all, what is kimchi? Well, kimchi is a Korean dish which is consumed at every meal. It's a fermented cabbage and this is a, a jar that I've made myself, a finished product. You don't eat a whole lot of it at once, you eat maybe a few bites. Now the health benefits of kimchi are many. Most importantly are the living enzymes that are still intact in the food which helps improve your digestion. Making it at home is easy, very simple. You see I don't have a lot going on right here. And much cheaper. Um, to buy a jar of this at the store near me is about $5 to $6. I'll be making about five jars for $5. So let's get started. First we take Napa cabbage, which is also a specialty cabbage. I found this one at Wegmans. I took a half of the Napa cabbage and I cut it into bite-sized pieces. Then you're going to soak it in water, make sure it's submerged in the water, and I added one quarter cup of sea salt. Once that's all in there, mix it up nicely. I just like to put this lid on the top to keep it weighed down and keep it submerged under the water. The second step to making kimchi is to make your, your flavor paste. So in a food processor, you can see I've added a bunch of ingredients. I added one apple, half of an onion, one and a half inch of ginger root, two cloves of garlic, half of a daikon radish, four green onions, and I'm going to attempt to say the name is three tablespoons of a gochugaru, which is a chili powder. If you can't find that in your store, you can of course use a cayenne pepper. Now down below the video I'll leave a list of ingredients that way you can easily find the recipe and make this for yourself. So all you're going to do then is to turn this into a paste. So here we are again and after a little bit of camera magic we have our paste ready to go. I don't own a blender so I'm using a food processor. Uh, it doesn't come out quite that creamy. It's just more like a salsa. But if you use a blender, you'll get it nice and creamy. Also, what I've done then is drain the cabbage, left about a half a cup of water with it, of the salt water. And all we're going to do is take our mixture here and combine it with the cabbage, which is going to be tricky with one hand, but we'll do our best here. Put the camera down for one second. So, you have your mixture, and all you're going to do is just mix it up good. Okay, mixed up nice. Next step then, once you got your mix, you're going to take it and you're just going to start loading it into, I uh, use one pint mason jars. It's important, you want to make sure your jars are clean. So during the fermentation process, there's no bad bacteria in there. Or else mold will start to form. Okay. Pack it down there pretty good. You know, add some pressure, get it packed down. If you want to add a little more liquid, that's fine. The important thing is you want to leave room for it because it will expand as it begins to ferment. 
So all you're going to do then, take it in, put it on kind of snug, and you're going to take these jars once they're full, and I leave them in this cabinet in the dark at room temperature, lock it up, throw it away, and in about two days you'll see it start to bubble. At that point you know the fermentation's going fine, you know that everything looks okay. You, uh, once it starts to bubble, you know, give it maybe another day, uh, you can open the lid, release some air, and go ahead and feel free to throw it in the refrigerator. At that point it should keep for a while. So if you have any other questions about making kimchi, please feel free to send us a message on therainbowjuice.com. You could find us at facebook.com slash therainbowjuice or email us, email at therainbowjuice.com. Thank you very much.